What's up, beautiful people? It's your boy Joshua Martin. SLR Magic has finally made a native EF lens. Now, just to be clear, this is not a full review. Um, I'm hoping to get my hands on these a little bit later so we can get them more in depth. But I did spend quite a bit of time with them um, while I was in Toronto at Profusion, and I'll do my best to give a, a pretty decent overview of these lenses. The SLR Magic APO Micro Prime for EF Canon mounts come in 25, 32, 50, and 85, all at T2.1. So what makes these lenses special? Well, the fact that these are APO lenses, apochromatic lenses, which have a much better correction for chromatic and spherical aberration. Uh, in other words, fringing. It has uh, less fringing in high contrast situations. Um, as well as better breathing or really no breathing so that's huge normally you have to buy a lens from at least three thousand dollars and up to have some sort of apochromatic lens system built within it so basically slr magic has taken the optics from their apo hyper prime lineup and put them in the new micro prime design which is a real plus because you get a much lighter smaller lens but still have the high quality optics of an apochromatic lens inside so you're going to get some really great imagery what you're going to see i've shot on the z cam the new z cam e2 f6 and the f8 and that was really a pleasure to um to to try out those cameras so let's just go over some of the features so all of the lenses have internal focusing an 82 millimeter filter thread 150 degree focus throw and all the lenses cover full frame but the simple pairing of a 6K and an 8K sensor with these lenses is just is incredible. The lenses perform really well, holds up against high contrast situations as you can see here. Now the sensors from the Z-Cam E2 series, they're really great sensors and super sharp, super detailed. So it's really great to see that these lenses can actually capture that and just how they work together in those situations as you can see here. Now in terms of characteristics with these lenses, um, I did my best to show how they flare against direct light and as well as how they bloom and all these other things that I kind of look for for lenses. And SL Magic still kept some of their uh, <laughs> quote unquote magic, no pun intended, um, when it comes to how these lens flare. It's a little bit more controlled. Um, there isn't a ton of character like their hyper primes because they'll be blooming all over the place with purples and magentas and all those stuff. But with these, a little more controlled, but they still have that nice quality. Now, what are you going to expect out of these lenses if you decide to pick them up? Well, expect a very high quality built lens. It is rugged, all out of metal. That's what you expect from the Micro Prime lineup. The second thing I think you should expect is high quality image capture. Like these lenses will give you, will deliver in a lot of different situations. Um, it is really controlled in high contrast situations minimal breathing beautiful bokeh very sharp especially if you stop down but it is sharp wide open so talking about pricing and availability um, they'll start shipping middle of december as i was told <laughs> and the prices for each of the lenses are going to go about fifteen hundred dollars a piece so I think that's a great deal and compared to other Sydney lenses that are out there in the market, which isn't an APO lens. Um, so keep that in mind, keep that in consideration if you're looking for minimum breathing to no breathing at all, no fringing chromatic aberration, and just sharp detailed wide open, you might wanna check out these lenses. So until the full review, I hope you guys are doing well and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.